Hi guys, we're back for another video, but this time it's a little different. I will not be doing a minifigure review. I will be doing my favorite minifigures that I own. And these ones might be some rare ones, might not be some rare ones, but with ones that have really cool pieces or like special molded pieces. So let's see which ones I choose. So here they are, three, two, one, bam. These are my favorite Ninjago minifigures that I own. I already reviewed some of them, but maybe not all of them. So as you can see, some of them might be from older seasons, some from newer ones. Some are like main bad guys, some aren't. But as you can see, this one is probably not worth as much as like, for example, this guy, which is like my rarest. So let's review each of them. And also, there's a reason why one of the guys aren't on my list, which is him. He's not on my list for a reason because I got him for like like $1.25 for a reason. Because his head, first of all, is very loose. As you can see, there's like, you see this like whiteness like on his neck. Usually, I'm pretty sure that's to keep it from falling or maybe like on the inside it's loose. And also, like, the arms have, like, bite marks on it and are really loose. And the hands are also loose. So that's why this didn't make it to my favorites because it's not in good condition. But this is still, I guess, one of my favorites if it was in good condition. But in general, this is still a really cool guy. So I was just showing this in the video. Now let's get on to my real favorite ones. So let's start off from this guy. He's from the season with the Ice Emperor. It was right after Asphira's invasion type of one. So this guy is here for a reason. And the reason is these are custom molds for the season, I'm pretty sure. And they're just really cool because of like the double like colors, like the dual molded things and everything. He has two different color arms. He has printing on his legs. He has like see like the see through blue ice on his armor. Like this is cool armor in general. But then you add the ice. Oh my sick. Same with the helmet right here. It just looks so cool. But like with the combination, you can see these blue circles. The normal samurai type of helmet. But instead of it being normal, you put the see through blue ice on top. And that's not all. Then he also has. A second face so that just makes it like one of my extreme favorite ones and the best part is i got this guy for free from my cousin and i'm pretty sure i made a review on him in one of my latest videos so let's move on to the next guy which will be from a newer season two and here we have kalma and of course there's another reason why he's here it's because he has a lot of custom pieces too so he has, of course, the custom head, which I love. And then this feet tentacle type of piece is extremely big and like big for a minifigure feet. And if you look on the bottom, that square looks so big. And you can see there's some like over here, you can see like tentacle like suction cups on it. And it just stretches out the minifigure so much. And not only that, he's a main bad guy. And he looks super cool in general. I don't know why, of course, he has the shoulder armor. Because in the show, I do not remember him wearing it. Let's move on to the next one, which is from one of the newer seasons, too. So here it is. Three, two, one. We have the Skull Sorcerer. I remember when I was getting back into Ninjago. My sister was watching it. I was like, bro, that guy he looks so cool. And I searched up and I was like, is there a Lego of him? And it looked like the sets were like so expensive. And I was like, oh, this guy, if I were to get a guy, this would be the one. But guess not. So that disappointed me. But I was able to find a retired set and he was in it. So here's him. He looks really cool. I like the printing. I like the skirt piece that he has right there. And I like the bat wings on the back that is connected with a transparent piece right there that goes on his neck. He has some sort of King Vangelis face under this mask. And this mask is like dual molded with the hat itself. So that's really cool. And then of course he comes with 
the skull of Hazador piece, which is extremely cool too. Let's move on to the next one. So now let's move on to the next one. And here we have it, this guy. I just recently bought him for like $5. I don't know if that was worth it, but to me it was because this guy is really cool. 2011 minifigure, and I like how they did the custom mold for the headpiece. I know a lot of these guys have custom molds, and that's probably one of my favorite parts of these guys. And that's why they made it to this list of my top minifigures. So this guy, I love these um, 2011, I guess like armor pieces shoulder armor chest armor it just goes all around the whole thing even a little bit on the back and then this is a classic skeleton with like that robe on the bottom part um the normal skeleton hands but then of course i really like these um black and white pieces for the legs is not dual molded it doesn't look like it looks like these pieces were like stuck together and then over here, there's just some nice printing as the eye patch that was like screwed on metal right into his skull, or I guess in this case, his head. And then he has one other eye and he's smiling and he has this mohawk made out of like bony spikes and a crack in his head right there on the side. Doesn't seem too good for his health, but cool detailing for this minifigure. Let's move on to the next one. So here we have him, we have Scales himself, so I bought this guy for $8, I think that was pretty worth it for sure. So, of course, the molded leg, which, of course, this is not the only guy, I think there was like a, a minifigure, kind of, what's it called, back of the day from like the mystery packs, I've seen videos about that, so that one has a tail. But I'm pretty sure that came out around when this came out. So the only minifigures that have that are the Serpentine Snakes and maybe that one. I don't know if there's any more. But I guess it's a custom piece that they only use in around like 2012, I guess. And then this head is also really cool. With all this printing about the Hypnobri, the hypnotic type of eyes. As you can see, like those lines in the redness. He has printing on top of his head, on the front of his head, and it goes almost to the back. And then he has printing on his torso in the front and back, and then printing on the tail itself. So this is one of my favorite also, especially that it was only $8 for this. But here we have it, my favorite minifigure, I think... This is probably my favorite minifigure of all time from Ninjago in general. And my most valuable, we have Evil Green Ninja Maro. This guy is insane. First of all, I don't know exactly how much this is worth. If my comments are on, you could do it. Sometimes, like, YouTube just turns off my comments because I have to go on, like, something else to, like, do it to turn on comments. So, here it is. But then this guy, I mean, of course, he has the custom mask on top. And then on the bottom, he has, I don't know if it's, it's custom kind of for this season. Because they also used it on the ghosts. But this is the, the dual molded color with green. I don't think they used for anyone else. So then he has the ghost-like head, but it's not see-through because it's Lloyd's face mixed with Morrow's. Then we have printing of like a mixture of Lloyd and Morrow mixed into one. That's why it's so cool. So you can see he has like the black belt, the ties around like his knees area, like Lloyd because it's green. If we turn it around, there's also some printing. It's like the Lloyd dragon picture usually that Lloyd has on the back of his torso. And this guy is just, I don't know why, but he's just so cool to me. And this is really good condition, so that's why it's my most valuable minifigure. If my comments are on, of course, be free to tell me how much this minifigure is worth, because I'm curious. Hope you enjoy all of the content that I've been putting out about Ninjago, and I'm excited for the new season coming out. For me, it's kind of annoying that the sets are only going to be coming out in August, but I'll try to get them or at least a couple. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in my next minifigure review video, or maybe a set review, because I still have a couple sets to review before I'm all out, <laughs> and then I have Marvel sets, so hope you enjoy these videos, and we'll see you in my next one. Goodbye.